Hey guys, so just a quick video um, to cover how to create an attribute, specifically a project attribute in this one, uh, and then use it in a certain way. So um, basically the first thing we need to do is go format in database editor. Um, we go format and attribute names. We will scroll down to the bottom and I'm just going to find a blank right on the bottom. Uh, so the first column is the sort of the the data so if I go project underscore um, name and I might just do caps but underscore oops all right great let's try that again project name and here I'll just go project name so the first one cannot have any spaces, um, so just something to be mindful of. Uh, it's just going to be a string, and here we need it to be a owner of only the project. Uh, I don't want it to be owned by the sheet because I don't want it to pick up attribute of the sheet. I just want to pick up attribute of the project itself. Uh, and hit OK, and the rest I can uh, sort of leave. It's a single instance, so one project name for the full project, and hit OK, and save the database. So if I get my project now here, I can right click, um, update configuration in project. This will update any database changes, including the project attribute. So if I right click up here, oh, sorry, if I go to my sheet tab, right click. And go to project properties uh, now down here I will have my project name and I can give a project name and I'm just gonna say example so that's the first step um, and this is just assigning an attribute that's it so the next step is the sheet um, so if I go back here and I want to go to my miscellaneous uh, and oops, I go to miscellaneous sheet and I'm just gonna find my DNA 3 and right click edit to bring it up so um, for example, I'm just going to um, place it up here so it's nice and obvious. Uh, at the moment, there is no text um, call down because we haven't created a text type. Uh, there is, or there's this one here, but nonetheless, um, ignoring that one. Um, a pretty good one, great. So if I go, and I'm just gonna create a new one just as an example, but if I go format and text types and, uh, for example, uh, I have my project name, which looks like I created, um, I think. Just checking if it's one of the ones that I created. Maybe my project name, okay, no. All right, so it's one of the system ones, but nonetheless, um, so I'm going to create a new one. Uh, the new one has to be a blank number. Um, I normally start around the 500 and work my way back. Uh, you can see I'm down to um, uh, 467. So if I go here and I choose 467, 67, and I'm going to put global project name, the max length I can probably not really um, worthwhile changing, but I'm just gonna do 50 characters. I'm gonna hit sheet text, and I'm gonna go down here and find my attribute, which is my project name. <laughs> um, uh, project name. So now this text type is gonna be assigned to this project name. So when I have an attribute of project name, it will show up as my project name text type. In this case, I did a bad example because um, there's already a project name text type. Uh, I probably could have used project title as a much better example. I think, uh, let's have a look. Um, yeah, so let's do project title as a more... So I hit project title and I can hit okay to save. Uh, I go down here in my drop down, I'll find my project title. It helps if I can spell, but nonetheless, I'll place this here and I'll fix it shortly. I'll place my project title and I'll just, to make it very obvious, I will go a really large size and place it here. 
So I'll go back to my text types to fix it. My four uh, six seven four six seven. So this same sort of process, this last step, same applies. If there's a text type that doesn't necessarily make sense, but it's associated as you need to, um, you can go back and change the descriptor of a lot of them. So, so a lot of these ones, for example, uh, pin number is the one. Uh, it's probably pin name is a bit more appropriate, possibly. Um, so you can change from pin number to pin name uh, there pretty easily. Um, so same as some of these, the signal name, and device designation, whatever else, you can change it to something that makes more sense. Um, if you want to, so that's done, I can save the database and then I can go back to my project now. I can uh, find the DNA3, update in project. Let me just open a new sheet, it'll be easier. New DNA3. I'll need to make sure to update config as well to include the new text type. And in this case, I've got project example one, and that's on all my sheets. So if I right click again, I mean, this would technically be in the title block, but if I go up here and show my project properties, I'd change my project name to <coughs> example five, uh, then example five. So that's an attribute that is fixed now um, to the project, not necessarily to the sheet. In this case, they're all got the same attribute. Um, and then in this case, we've got a text type on the sheet to call back to that main one as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, how to create a or create an attribute for the project, uh, as well as creating a text type to go with it for in the sheet specifically. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, just uh, feel free to let me know. Thank you.